All right, deck intro time. And this time, we're joining a cult. So for this combo, we're first going to start by playing a cult master. And then we're going to give that cult master the immune effect via death speaker. Then we treachery the cult master over to the opponent. Then we play a grim patron. And we also treachery the grim patron over to the opponent. Then we play a possessed villager. And finally, we play a double defile for the OTK. So this combo is quite a few cards, and it requires double Emperor Thoris and discounts, so an early Valdris is absolutely crucial to your success. So I think that's pretty much it for the deck intro this time, guys. I hope everybody gets in here and enjoys this video. Best of luck to you, and thanks so much for watching. But before we get started with today's video, I wanted to first talk about today's sponsor, Raid Child Legends. Now we all know that Raid has been raising the bar when it comes to the quality of mobile gaming, but what you may not know is Raid is currently celebrating their second birthday. Raid has come a long way in those two years, and there's never been a better time to start playing. Now to commemorate Raid's second birthday, they posted a ton of fun questions so we can reminisce about the game, so let's answer a couple. First up, which champion best embodies your personality and why? That's a tough one, but I would have to say Biggin. Biggin is a legendary ogre and you all know how passionate I am about Boulder Fist Ogres. Plus, the resemblance is uncanny. And the next question is, where is your favorite place to play Raid? That's an easy one. One of the best things about Raid is you can play at home on your gaming PC, or you can play on the go on your phone. So my favorite place to play is literally anywhere. And that's what I really like about Raid. Whether you have a five minute break, or you want to run dungeons for hours on end, you can still have a great time and feel like you're progressing. In terms of what's new in Raid, they're celebrating their second birthday in style, with six weeks of events and tournaments, including the first ever Clan vs. Clan tournament where players can directly compete against one another. Now is the perfect time to get started. If you download the game with my referral link, you'll receive 100,000 silver, 50 ancient gems, 3 ancient shards, and the brand new epic champion named Jotun. Word to the wise, use Jotun for the Doom Tower. These rewards will be in your inbox for the next 30 days. Again, happy birthday to Raid, and thanks so much. Alright, not a quest priest. This hand is pretty uh, garbaggio. Well, that'll work on the uh, spell sounds at least. <laughs> Hopefully, we get a void caller. Yes, that is very nice. Alright, it's all coming together. <laughs> yeah. I see a big priest then. Big priest with an insane draw. <laughs> From the void I come. No. <laughs> okay. Need to play something. To the void. Sure. I'm gonna freeze my hand up. And I heal from it, so. I won't hit him. Surely he has an answer now. I'm so shocked. Let's go ahead and do this while we can. Valdris yet. Random 7 drop. Oh boy. <laughs> that could be very good. He still has a coin. Mm. 
sure. I just want to empty my hand up so if I do draw Valders, I can actually play it. <laughs> yeah, to dance with death. Okay. Energy, power. My people are addicted to it. Actually, I should have hit that first. Well, it doesn't matter that much. <laughs> One of these days. Mess with so. I'm always confused why people play like random minions in these decks. Like why is he playing the spirits card? I don't know. <laughs> why is Valdris always on the bottom? It's incredible. Trust me. I should have popped that first, actually. It doesn't matter that much. If I draw Valdris, I can pretty much get there. Pretty much draws us in my deck. But can I draw the Valdris? Toothful anyway. Well, not really. It's okay. Valdris and four combo pieces is my last five cards. <laughs> because why wouldn't it be? I can play Godfrey or Gul'dan. I guess I Godfrey. This will be a mercy, Our Gul'dan next turn if I have to. I will give Whoa. Joking. You have got to be joking. I could play Plague there, but I kind of want to save this in case he plays like Masseras or something. Off the top. <laughs> well, now the play doesn't matter. Ridiculous draw. Actually ridiculous. I could still lose this if he makes a full board. I could lose this easily. That doesn't help either. Yeah, just get the best one. Get the best one possible. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I could still lose this. I could definitely still lose this. At 
ADC traded, but it's still really bad. Do I just lose? I think I lose. That was way too close at the end. There we go. Poetry in motion. <laughs> All right, that was too difficult. All right, plenty of healing this time. <laughs> Very nice. It's actually a bit of a shame that I have so much card draw with Valdris, but uh, we'll see. If I get double Wither off this, I'm going to Baby Rage. Okay, that's fine. Yep. No tap. So at least I get guaranteed a Void Caller now, which is good. Don't let the door hit you. That's fine. I guess I waste the coin. It's like a double wood color. I don't feel like I'm gonna mill a card. Just have to hope it's not in a combo piece, right? He's probably running saps and two of those and okay. Can mill here. That's fine. Sure. At least he doesn't have a secret up right now. Uh -huh. Fortunately, I don't really care about Ice Block if he plays like Hanar or something. So, Spellbender, Counterspell, those are the more important ones. Of course. Why would I get lucky? Nope. Well played. Actually, very fortunate for you, but whatever. Maybe I should use a spellstone there. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's probably good, actually. Usually, when I play Gul'dan against people, they just concede. 
So <laughs> that's probably fine. That's fine. This guy likes his secrets. Well, we'll do our best to get Baldur's down. Pretty lucky for him. I guess Bamboozle is kind of annoying, but I can't really play around Bamboozle. I don't think everyone's really matter that much. I think it matters, of course, but I can't do anything about that. We must expand our Random legendary. There's probably some that matters, like Mukla. <laughs> Mukla matters. It'd be helpful if we put a minion. Looks like that's a negatory. So I'm missing <laughs> Patron, Cult Master, Treachery, Trakari, Possessed. I'm missing pretty much everything. That's going to be almost impossible to play. Of course, I have five cards left, and I'm missing three important ones. As per usual. Time for an experiment. Okay. Double Swindle. He still has two Boilers in his deck, too. Don't let the door hit you. I have a secret, thank God. <sighs> Can I play my Drakari, Thorasan? Ten. Eleven. No. I cannot. <laughs> Pretty good. Oh god. And now I can. Let us see the bird. I don't even have it yet. Playing sprint in 2021. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was pretty good. Can you kill Really?
Oh, that was battle ring. What am I doing? Uh, oh. Game backfire. It should be okay, I think. Oh, those board could be full here. It's a problem. That helps. Uh. Oh, okay, there's only two. <laughs> I was gonna say if he shuffles in like 20 guards, this could be a problem. <laughs> I think we're okay. Universe ambush is okay. I didn't kill him. Oh, it's evasion. It doesn't matter though. <laughs> yeah, it has to be evasion. But he'll die the following turn, I think. It wasn't evasion? How did he not die? Oh, the board got full. That's so lame. <laughs> wow. You can't make this step up. Darkness. I'm just dead to fatigue. Well no, not really. No. Not really at all. No. <laughs> Alright. Sure. 